Rebecca at tomatoes. <laughs> yes, she is with a dull knife probably that I haven't sharpened. But this is the process of we are making pica de gallo to go with our fish tacos. And that's the fish that's probably still not thawed yet, but we'll find out shortly. And that over there is the kitchen and the and the, the uh, cast iron skillet we're going to cook it all in. And they're not being quiet over here and they're making beans. <laughs> and they're not they're going to regret making beans. Especially beans, when I eat beans, them. Beans, the best of whoa, fruit. Whoa. The more you eat, the more you tooth. Can you say tooth on YouTube? Um, yeah. Are you sure? Toot. Tooty toot toot toot. <laughs> this is our favorite blackening season. Chef Prude Holmes Redfish Magic Black and Redfish Magic. That's what we're going to use to blacken our white bass fillets, sand bass fillets. Going to be good. Miss Debbie has the coleslaw out, and she has the coleslaw dressing, and then she has the chipotle seasoned, fiery chipotle boar's head, and she's going to mix that up, and that's going to be our dressing for our coleslaw on our tacos. Miss Debbie, <laughs> that's going to be so good on these tacos. Yummy, lummy. Mommy got to talk while you do it too, so you get there. And I'm going to listen to me talk. You'd be surprised. They they rule actually they prove and they pay more attention when people talk. Except that it's me. They they pay attention when she talks. Because she's more door verbal bubble. About the cup of the dressing. I mean the meat approved about a third cup of dough. You can season it to your likings and your taste if you want it spicy or you want more of the pulpy mayonnaise. It's not as spicy, just make sure you have more of that. Okay, video time. Okay, so now we got a nice bowl full of fillets ready to go in the skillet. And by the way, everybody, wish Miss Debbie happy birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yay! She's the reason you're getting this video because I wanted to be lazy and not do it. But she said, we promise, so we have to do All it. Right. So there you go. And she's we'll follow up on our promises. Because I don't get away with nothing. Anyway, there it is. It's going to be going here real quick. So we got the fish now and we are cooking it in the cast iron skillet. Uh, we're doing it a little different, not really actually so much uh, traditional blackening where we have all the steam coming up, but we are using blackening seasoning and we are cooking it in the house so we're trying to make sure we don't have all that steam going everywhere because we do have pretty sensitive fire or smoke detectors. So looking pretty good though. I think this is going to be really good. What do you think, Randy? Oh yes. I'm all excited. Right. And Miss Debbie is making Spanish rice. It's gonna be so good. Yum. Where's that pico that you made? Got pico in the refrigerator. Oh man, look at that. That is gonna be so yummy. Excuse our fridge. Good job. Look at that go. It's so pretty. It's gonna be so good. Oh, look at that. That's going to be awesome. So that's what my tacos look like. With all the effort from Mesa to Brandy to Debbie. <clears throat> so are you ready to do a prayer? Yes. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Dear Lord, we just thank you for this food. Bless it to nourish my bodies. Thank you for giving us a way to make a living, Lord, that's enjoyable and, and feeds our family. Lord, we ask that you bless everyone watching this video and bless our families all over the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, smash the like button. Then go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're not already so we can get you more information in the future. And finally, share this video so that the word can get out about luck of the Irish. Thank you.